everyone and welcome to my video so today I decided to appear with my natural hair not air dried no, not blow dried or um, straightened or anything it's just what my hair would look like naturally if I do nothing to it if I just take a shower and let it just air dry it's quite huge and um, I get a lot of compliments when um, when my hair is looking like that, but I personally am kind of on the, fan, on the fence. I don't really know if I like it or if I love it or if I hate it. I don't know. I'm kind of sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. It's just up to my mood, really. It's just up to how I feel about that like during that day. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get into the content of this video today. Um, and following a video that I did. A couple of weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, I showed you guys all of the products that I would love using during the summer, um, and I told you guys that I may do a tutorial. Now, just before we get started with the tutorial, I am by no means a makeup artist. A makeup artist. I actually started using makeup like maybe less than a year ago, like maybe ten months or something like that, even a little less. Um, but I'm still. I thought it's, it's good to try and do a tutorial. I am not trying to teach you guys any, anything here. I'm just going to show you guys what I think is pretty good for summer. So before I get started, I should um, clip my hair up. I thought I had a hair clipper in here. Oh, here you are. I'm just going to clip my hair up with a hair clipper. And let's just move it out of the way. Now, as you can see, I have nothing on my face. And I'm going to start with a foundation. And I have all of the products in here. This is a makeup bag that I got with a purchase from Lancome. It's really nice because it's kind of huge. It's really big and it fits a lot. So it's actually perfect for traveling. First of all, I... I applied some, I applied um, moisturizer beforehand and now it's time to apply my, my foundation. I am applying this foundation with this MAC 187 uh, brush. It's like a stippling brush as you can see here. I actually did a review on, I, no I didn't do a review, I did a first um, impressions video on this if you want to see that as, as well as application. And I also I'm using my favorite foundation, which is the Garland Lingerie Depot Invisible Skin Fusion Foundation. And this foundation, I'm not really sure if this is the right term, but it's kind of water-based and you need to shake it up because it kind of separates. So let's give it a good shake first of all. And I'm going to uh, work a work like maybe a pump on my hand. And then as you can see, it's relatively liquidy. Not entirely, but you know, relatively liquidy. I'm taking the brush and I'm taking like a little bit of it and I am working it on my cheek. Starting on the center of the face, like by the bridge of my nose. And I am basically doing a circular motion to blend everything in. I'm taking another bit and I am focusing this on my forehead, on the right side of my forehead. Like I'm basically doing like um, each half separately, half of my face obviously. Mm. I really like this foundation, it feels really really light, it doesn't really feel like you're putting anything on your face. And the coverage is kind of um, more on the light side, which is my, which is what I prefer on a daily basis. I don't like foundations with um, with full coverage or heavy coverage because um, I can always use concealer to hide any of my imp any imperfections that I may have, like blemishes or, or whatnot. Which is why I don't see the need to um, have fuller coverage foundation and this foundation is really really nice because it lasts all day on my normal normal skin type basically and I am 
I'm about done really. This is my foundation and I will just um, work on blending it a little bit with my hand. Not much because the brush does a wonderful job at blending the foundation. And if I'm looking towards this side, it's, it's mainly because I have a mirror there and I'm just checking to see that everything is blended properly and nothing looks um, weird, really. Oh, I think I have something in here. Well, anyway. So, next we move towards the, um, the eyes. I prefer doing my eye makeup before my cheeks because I, I usually rest my hand on my cheek and if I have like blush or bronzer, it will kind of like slightly transfer my hand and I don't really like that. So anyway, I have this um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Eye Pencil in number 04. It's called Black Plum. And I really like this because it's very long lasting. It's quite blendable. As you can see, it has a sponge um, blending applicator or whatever you want to call it, as well as the color in here. Now I'm just going to get closer to the camera and show you guys everything that I this, I'm going to take my mirror here. This is my mirror and I will try to draw like a little semi-circle on my eye. You know, nothing too perfect because you're going to blend it anyway. And then I will line the inner, like the outer arm part of my eyes, like so. And then I will close this part here because I think that it kind of gets a little bit drier when I'm trying to use it on the other eye. I am just going to blend the liner here a little bit because the color is kind of quite opaque and I want a softer effect. So basically I'm just really blending it a little bit, just a little, and then to soften it out even more, without having to use a brush or anything, I will use this, oh wait a minute, I need, I need to put my mirror over there so I can check the recording thingy. Alright, so as you can see, there is a semicircle on my eyelid and it looks quite heavy. It's not really the, the look that I necessarily go for. I like softer things. So I'm using this Lancome um, Ombre Hypnos Every Decent Color High Fidelity in I-102 Pepite Douse. And this is just a champagne color. Really, 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 really pretty. It has shimmer and, it, and I apply this with the applicator because I'm just going to work it all through, through my entire lid and I don't really see the need to use a brush when I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to, I'm going to swipe it once on, my, uh, once on the um, powder and then I will apply it all over my lid. All over the lid and it's really going to soften out the purple here as you can see it looks a lot softer and brighter and let's just work on blending the two together like so just blend 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 and I'm going to take the other tip of the applicator which is quite pointy and I'm going to apply this on my on the lower part of my eye in the inner quarter cor corner just to just to give it a little bit of brightness here and that's really all I'm going to do with this eye as well as the other eye. Let's just repeat the process again and make sure that you can like understand basically what I'm doing. So I'm going to take the mirror again. I'm going to get closer. Let me just make sure that you can see everything properly. Mm, a semicircle again, dry. It shouldn't be like too big, but it shouldn't be like too small. Like relatively um a good size, really. I'm going to run it across the lower lid, just the outer half, like so. And now it's time to blend, 
blend, blend, blend, blend, blend, and soften everything out a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just do a little bit of blending because the color, as I mentioned earlier, is quite dark and opaque. After all, it is called black plum. I guess it should be a little dark because it's black, you know. And that's the uh, eyelid here without the eyeshadow. Let's just do the same thing with the eyeshadow. I'm just going to run it all over my lid. And it's going to work as a softener really it's just going to soften up the look mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's just make sure that the makeup looks even yep it does and now I'm just going to take the other um, side of the applicator and run it slightly in my low on my lower lid and that should do the job. Now it's time to do use mascara. And um I did show like a different mascara. I, I showed you guys the Guerlain um what was it? I think it was an RG and it was just a sample. I I purchased the mascara and this is the the Lancome Hypnose mascara and I really like it because it gives such a gorgeous but natural effect and I'm just going to Apply the mascara on my upper lashes. Uh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh huh. Just make sure to wiggle it. I don't like to pack on a lot of mascara. I just do one layer, and that's it. Just to keep the natural effect going, and then I'm going to uh. Light mascara on my other eye, of course. You don't really need somebody to tell you that you should, that you have to apply mascara on both eyes, do you? <laughs> okay. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And that is all I do with my eyes. Now it's time to use. A blush. I mentioned the Guerlain blush duo, but now I am just going to use a cream blush. This is the YSL cream blush in number two, powdery uh, rose. And let I'm just going to use it with the same brush I used the foundation, just to show you guys again that this really does a beautiful job. Mm -hmm. Smile. Don't smile too much because um, if you if you smile too much, then this part will go up upwards, as you can see. And then when you when you stop smiling, it will it will kind of lower the blush application somehow. I don't really know if I'm explaining it right, but um, I think that this is the case. I am going to apply it a little heavily because the camera kind of doesn't pick everything good. I I wouldn't apply this like like so in like my daily life because I kind of like everything to be soft and sheer but you know sometimes you kind of have to like when you're taking photos or when you're videotaping yourself mm -hmm. smile a little bit and I think that that should do the job and now it's time to use a little bit of highlighter and the highlighter I use is basically this Guerlain face face powder and it's it, it's got shimmer in it not not too much and I'm going to use this with, with this Dior um, blush brush here it's perfect for blush and it's perfect for powder as well so let's just um, show you guys how this product works and uh, let me let me tell if you can see or not I need to make sure that you see okay you've got it right as you can see it's got many colors now what you should do is take the brush and swirl it around the um the the pan tap it to take to take rid of to get rid of any excess 
and just apply it on the higher part of your cheek, the bridge of the nose as well as the forehead and last but not least the chin. It's such a wonderful product because it's very subtle the shimmer is subtle and it just gives you a, a, a quite nice glow like in daylight and sunlight. Last but not least is the lipstick and I'm going to use this YSL. Um, what is it? It's the Rouge Volupt in number 8. Mm, and I think it's called Fetish Pink. Correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure it's called Fetish Pink. As you can see it's quite a gorgeous pink color. It's, it's relatively blue toned. Um, and it's nice because it makes your teeth look whiter. Now I'm just going to apply this on my lips, obviously. Uh -huh. This is very creamy. It applies like a dream. But I find that it doesn't last as much as other lipsticks. Mm. And that's really all I do. For a daily colorful yet subtle um, makeup look. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, whatever, don't, men don't forget to mention them in the uh, comments bar down below. And I really hope to see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe because I would love to see you soon again. And yep, that's really all. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day. Goodbye.